All right, welcome to the rundown of the minimal writing system in Obsidian I've created for you folks. I hope this is exhaustive as I, as I can make it. This is a work in progress, but I remain available and your humble servant to walk you through your Obsidian writing journey. So here we go. Super excited to share this with you guys. So I've created a system that requires minimal uh, community plugins, no formulas, nothing arcane. It's just going to focus on your writing. So when you open up Obsidian, the daily note is going to be your hub. So your first thing you're going to do is you're going to jump in here and customize your daily note. The only really thing you need to customize uh, when you start off is your mantra. So in here, I put insert mantra here. This might sound wooey, but you want to put a statement in here that every time you open Obsidian, you see your mission. So mine is clear writing is clear thinking. So when I open up my daily note every day, I see clear writing is clear thinking right there guides me with everything else I'm going to do. Boom. Hope that makes sense. Next, you're going to customize your other tabs. So at the top of your daily note, you're going to have a task section and a content matrix. When you go to tasks, um, you can essentially plug in long-term tasks. This is not like, you know, write a hundred words today. This is like projects, goals you have for the long run. And I'll show you how they weave into your daily note in a second. The other one is your content matrix. I've built this with content pillars, and then growth, authority, and personality as the three content types at the top. But this is a customizable table. You can take this, do what you wish, fill it in as you wish, but I think you should have a section where you can have your content matrix that'll ground you through your writing journey. Anyway, there you go. So two quick aids for you at the top. Then we'll get into the next section here, which is your daily tasks. So here, this is gonna change every day. So when, you, when your Obsidian open up, opens up on startup, it's gonna open up to that day's daily note. And it's gonna show a task one, task two, cause that's just a template, but you erase these, put in your work for that day. When you're done, you check it off. Very simple. Simplest productivity system in the world, guys. Doesn't need to be complicated. You just need some place where you can see your tasks. This setup works completely the same on mobile, so no issues there. Now, what we've done here is very cool. So these are your long-term tasks. So this is an embedded note directly from this tasks note that we've created up here. So in here, you can see your long-term tasks, so you can look at them at a glance, but you don't need to edit them every single day because they are in your tasks um, tab. Uh, but once you click this open link, it's gonna take you right there if you need to. And if you don't wanna look at this, when you start up the day, close it. I get it, a lot of information is overkill sometimes. Next section here we've created, very simple, is a current thread callout. I have it um, defaulting to something called thread one, but some of us you know, pump out a thread a day. Some of us take you know, multiple days to come up with everything we need for a Twitter thread. So you kind of need a place where you can just call back to it every day. So when you open your daily note down here in thread one, you would just change it to changes to the, the most recent thread you're working on. So throughout the day, you have a quick spot to click and get into it. And your thread, very simple. Tweet one, you put in a uh, three dashes to create a divider. Tweet two, tweet three. It doesn't need to be complicated, folks. This way you can compose your tweets in Obsidian, distraction-free, free from the internet if you want, and just focus on the writing. Next, a quick section for your tools. I threw in one quick uh, notion, a uh, tweet template thing that works for me. Delete this, put in your own. You might want to put a link to your Twitter homepage, to your stats, to your birdie, whatever you want. You throw it in here so you have it at a quick glance. Next section here, very simple. This is your tweets. So these are these are the tweets you're gonna write for the day. You don't need some uh, uh, some other place to compose your stuff. Compose it all in Obsidian while you're writing for the day. And when you're ready, take it over to Hype Fury, take it over to Twitter.com, and and schedule it later. Just stay off of the internet, stay plugged into your writing, get into the flow state. Now the first custom uh, plugin I'm gonna call out is the Better Word Count. So this is critical to writing tweets when you're not in um, a typical composer. So at the bottom here, let me get rid of this Grammarly thing that doesn't come with what you guys get. Um, so you have a word count, it's words and characters. If I, um, so let me just expand this a little bit so you can see it better. I hope that works. Actually, you know what? We're gonna have to uh, quit Grammarly as much as it pains me just to help you guys out with this walkthrough. All right, we got it now. So here's tweet one. So if you highlight tweet one, you can see a custom word count down here is actually on this side, four words, 15 characters. Uh, and you see when you unclick, it defaults to the word and character count for the overall file. So very quick way that you can jump in here and just make sure your tweet doesn't bust the character limit, limit on Twitter. That's the only check you need. After that, take these over to schedule at the end of the day. 
The bottom section, and it's critical as the bottom section of your daily note, is for your today's notes. Here's where you just write, 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 insert hyperlinks, uh, insert links to new notes you've created, just keep writing. The reason it's at the bottom is when you're in on your phone or on your, on your laptop and you wanna share something to Obsidian, most workflows allow you to just insert into daily note, it inserts the bottom. So right at the bottom, you'll have all of your web cl clippings for the day automatically thrown in, um, as well as any notes you take for that day. That's your daily note. I'm trying to make this super simple for you folks to start up. Um, next, we're just gonna quickly talk about the file structure. Three folders, that's it, very simple guys. You've got a templates folder where all your templates go, including your daily template, your stack, Oh, sorry, and then after that, it's better to talk about your daily notes. That's where all your daily notes get um, get stored. Anytime you create a new daily note, it automatically saves there. You don't need to move it over. And your stack is where every single other file in your vault goes. Don't overthink it, throw it all in there. The thing about Obsidian is the structure will come over time. And finally, when you create a new note that's a non-daily note, it's gonna show up at the root of your folder structure here. You can use this as a workbench. So once you're done with the file, throw it into the stack so you don't need to see it anymore. Uh, one cool thing I've thrown in, in here for you guys is a couple of tweet templates. Um, so when you open up your quick switcher, um, sorry, your, your command palette with command P or up here, you got your command palette right there. Uh, let's open the command palette. Um, if we're gonna go type templates, you can insert a template and I've thrown in these two um, tweet templates for you guys. So you can populate your template section with quick little tweets. So uh, here you go. X and Y is more important than Z, so I can put like, you know, like money and um, cash is more important than um, your soul. That's a very bad tweet, but you know what I mean. You can, you can customize that as, as you like, folks. It's up to you. Um, let's go through a checklist here. Also at the bottom, I've, uh, I've plugged your recently updated files here so you can see them at a glance. On the other side of the command bar, we have your outline as the default, and then you have a calendar here. And if you click on any number in your calendar, it's gonna automatically go to that daily note or it's gonna create that daily note for you. It's a cool little plugin we've got. Um, we won't touch on hotkeys because I think um, that would take a bit too long. You can reach out to me, I'll remain at your service. Very quickly, the other community plugins we've included here, there's a reading time one. I don't know if you saw that earlier, blink and you'll miss it, but our daily note is currently a one minute read. As you populate it, this will get updated. So this is very good if you're doing long form. I think a critical uh, critical plugin for those folks. Uh, word count, we've discussed outliner. Um, I can show it better here, but through hotkeys, you can essentially turn um, Obsidian into something like Rome Research. So you can plug these in as hotkeys later on, but the outliner app allows me to go command shift up and move this bullet point up and down the page as I want. I can also command shift left, right, um, to, uh, to turn something into a subheading um, and there's there's a bunch of other. Uh, I won't use the hockey here because I forgot it, but you can also collapse, expand things. And up here, really cool, if I do a command shift up, it takes all the child bullets with it. This is super cool, super quick way to outline. That comes in the box for you guys. Focus mode, simplest thing in the world. I think command F will work. No, actually it won't. <laughs> so we'll just go to the actual um, toggle here. Takes everything out of the page, lets you focus on what you want to write. We'll get out of there. Plugin updates, a very simple little uh, plug down here that tells you all your plugins are up to date. It'll go red if anything needs to be updated, making it super simple for you folks. Uh, and the final plugin I've included is Wordy. There's a complicated way to get a more expanded version of this, but straight out of the box, I've given you basically a synonym finder in here. So if I want to look at the word notes and find a different word for it, if I go into my command palette, I've pinned the wordy synonym, uh, synonyms uh, command at the top. You click that and it shows you uh, synonyms for notes. There's no synonyms for notes. Okay, let's put in a word that has a synonym. Let's put in happy, there we go. Boom, command P, palette, wordy synonyms. Boom, there they pop up. Content, bright, halcyon, blessed. Another way you don't need to leave your obsidian workflow to the internet, get distracted. You could just focus on writing. I've tried to keep this update uh, very short for you uh, in terms of a rundown. We're approaching the 10 minute mark. Don't want to overwhelm you. Grab this, download it, start working with Obsidian. Let me know what roadblocks you face. We'll go through them together. I want to get you guys writing consistently um, from now till the end of your days. Okay. Love you all. Peace.